Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and I'm going to present to you the forecast for September 2020 for the sign of Leo. So if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Leo, then please keep watching this video. Of course, this is a general reading, so see what resonates with you. And uh, if you would like to know more about your private chart, you can always send me an email that you find in the description box below. Okay, so Leo, what is happening for you in the month of September? Um, yeah, it's going to be a, a crazy ride because a lot of things are going to happen. Um, you're gonna see parts of yourself that probably you do not like. You're gonna have a lot of karmic releases and lessons. But uh, as a Leo, just keep smiling. You know how to do that. And uh, yeah, like this, you can move forward into being a better person, into being a better version of yourself. Okay, so um, yeah, you probably had your birthday in end of July, August. So yeah, you had a really busy month. All the focus was on you. And what is happening now for you in September? On the 2nd of September, there's going to be a full moon in Pisces. And this is going to be in your eighth house. Oh my God, you're going to have a great intuition. You're going to have a lot of messages coming through. If you're into spirituality, this is a great day maybe to do a reading with someone. Uh, this is a great day to figure out, to meditate on your own, to receive messages, uh, to use any tool to help you understand yourself better. So this is really about a huge major healing part. And your moon is connected to Uranus, which is in your 10th house. So you might have a clue about your job situation that's going to help you. Uh, you might have ideas coming for new projects that you would like to start. So yeah, really sit down around this time. Uh, do a meditation, do a reading with someone because you're going to get information that's going to help you majorly. Um, also, the... Mars has been squaring Saturn and Pluto. This has already started in August. And your Saturn and Pluto, I mean, they've been for a while. They're coming closer together again. So things are going to be shaky. This has to do with your health. So please, Leo, eat healthy. Don't overindulge this month. Jupiter is going to go um, direct again on the 12th. Jupiter loves to indulge. Uh, but this is really the time to focus on your health, to be healthy and to stick to a good program of doing sports. Um, yeah, because the past times, uh, Saturn will go direct end of the month. Mars is going retrograde on um, the 9th of September. And uh, yeah, your Mars is getting closer to your midheaven. So wow, you're going to have power to work. And uh, this power to work will be emphasized for when you have a good routine, when you're eating healthy, when you're like, you're going to have a clear brain. Maybe you're like, I want to have a break from alcohol. I want to have a, I want to, after the summer, like I want to re- almost like re-love my body right now and I want to use this energy this retrograde Mars energy to um, output my energy wisely into my job so if you haven't changed jobs or again you haven't got your promotion in the last two years or anything you probably might be feeling that at least you need some changes in your job some things that have worked out for you before, haven't been working out for you any longer. You're getting new understandings on how you can be of service to this world in the form of a job. It could also be that you started doing some voluntary work uh, just for, or that you have even got pets. Uh, maybe you got some pets at home because you feel it's, it's giving you more comfort in life and it, you know how it feels to actually uh, take care of a pet and to embrace uh, maybe you're thinking about children and a pet is like the first step before the next step <laughs> if that makes sense 
uh yeah and then your mars is squaring your venus in your 12th house so you're gonna have a little bit of this passionate dreamy look over you uh you're gonna think that you're uh pragmatically putting all the uh, projects together but in reality a lot of it is also coming from a higher mind a lot of uh, the ideas a lot of the execution is coming from a higher mind you work on something is going very quickly you have it on paper and you have no idea how you did it so it's going to be something like this you know it's going to be very much um fast you're going to be fast but it doesn't feel like you're fast it's going to be these crazy energies and then Venus is uh, opposite Saturn, so you're, you're going to want to work a lot, but at the same time you need time to regenerate, to love yourself, because you might lose your self-love in your job. And I feel this is very important to communicate this with you. Do not start a job that is not something you love doing. Because Leo, you need to do something that you love. You need to have a job that brings you passion, that brings you to the next level. And right now, um, literally, life is telling you how much do you love your job right now? And are you willing to take on more work? Well, you actually can't take more work. So be careful with these type of energies um, that you're not doing more than you should do at this point um yeah there's also uh eros lilith and uh squaring venus pluto and saturn so um what does this mean it means that uh sometimes you have these big visions and they you've been very intense about them and this is actually um some of you by these visions you actually attracted a lot of men a lot of women uh in an erotic way um and this actually um it kind of is your shadow side that's been coming up that's telling you don't use your 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 open big mind to get what you want so use this energy um yes to get what you want but not in like not um, against the other people's boundaries against the form of other people like we still have to respect where they are coming from okay so you could have been a little bit of a forest lately and um very passionate like naturally you're already very passionate but also think about other people's boundaries okay so don't uh overdo it use uh this energy for the good for transformations uh on a higher level transformations for yourself okay because lilith can have a tiny and iris can have a tiny dark side that's going to um you know, I'm not saying that maybe, I mean, this is the perfect, actually, uh, placement to start a, a erotic cult or something like this. <laughs> well, please don't do that. Um, just uh, balance these energies out into something healthy, please. <laughs> okay, so uh, on the 17th of September, there's going to be a new moon in Virgo. And that's going to be in your second house. So yeah, Leo, sometimes you can be a bit picky about how you spend your money, where you spend it on, how to spend it. You know, sometimes you rather not spend it. So this is about your self-worth, how you spend your money. And you're going to communicate with people, talking to them, saying, listen, this is what I'm worth and this is what I should get. Um... You're going to put a good price tag on yourself, but you need to stop worrying about how other people think of you. Because that's going to be like, your Vir the Virgo in your chart is going to tell you you're maybe not good enough. And this is something that you have to watch out for. So um, on, in this new moon, there are connections with the notes, which could be something big and karmic. Uh, don't be afraid of it. Your south node's in the fifth house of romance, creativity... And the North Node's in the 11th house of friendships. So uh, you could really uh, have some karmic release in uh, like maybe you've thought about doing something on your own. Or maybe it's time to put a project out there for money. 
<laughs> so you have to put a price tag on yourself without worrying about it. This is what I'm worth. And you know, you could be the best painter and you have all your paintings at home. Time, the time is now to make your hobby, your job, or at least show it to the outer world. So if you are this painter with your paintings, you're gonna start an uh, exhibition and you're gonna be like, hey, people, come see my paintings. Uh, they are this amount of uh, price and uh, because you have Virgo in the second house, I want you to overvalue it <laughs> because you're always going to feel like it's not good enough or you're not good enough and sometimes you're not asking for enough salary and stuff like that. So, and you, you know, when you think you have no savings, you have more savings than you think. So, uh, be more comfortable with the money that's coming in. And uh, your intuition is going to be amazing. Work with that intuition to solve the lessons that are coming into your life at this point. Um, let's see what kind of message I have for you. Okay. Well, what did I just say? Your intuition is going to be on point. You are profoundly clairvoyant, the card is saying. So literally, look into this bowl. The month of September, you're going to understand so much better who you are, where you want to be. It's time to create a vision. You know, you're going to be protected. So, yeah, there's going to be the power animal. So think about the animal that is in your mind right now and think about the qualities this animal has. This is what you need at this point. Then you're going to be protected. So there's going to be a lot of protection happening. Uh, you're safe to do what you want to do. Um, don't be afraid to make changes. Um, yeah, follow your heart. This is what I'm, I'm getting heart chakra. Follow your heart. This is so important at this time. Uh, don't do a job where, where your heart is not in. Yeah, solar plexus. This is your creativity. This is your uh, creativity that you need to restore or show to the outer world because you are a ball of um, a ball of light in September you're gonna have so much clarity and there's some things that you will understand about yourself that you are gonna put in in the right box you know as we say so um, yeah, this is going to trigger major changes within you. And uh, Saturn is going to go direct uh, end of September in your sixth house. So you're going to work hard. You're going to work very hard. You felt like things were going a bit slower than usual. Watch your health. Jupiter is also going direct uh, at the beginning of the month um, on the 11th. So please um, don't overindulge. Uh, follow your heart when it comes to your job. Don't make too uh, hasty decisions and don't undervalue yourself. You're worth so much more. Uh, so really, Leo, this is the message I would like to give you to you. And um, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to share your story, please leave it in the comments how this all relates to you. I would love to read it and hear from you. And also subscribe to my channel because I'm making monthly videos and uh, I'm happy to inspire you whenever you need your inspiration. <laughs> I wish you all the best, Leo. Bless you. Have an amazing month of September.